So, uh, Peter, I'm going to turn to you now. What, if, if you were telling people, and I think you've probably done this lots of times, if you were telling people in the industry what they need to do, what they could do better uh, to get their, their products approved, and, and I, I think there have been a huge, the, the attitude that between industry and uh, the FDA has changed a lot over the last couple of years. I, I remember a time when, as I said, there was this open hostility. I think there's a real sense that now we are partners yeah. and things are getting expedited. But what could, would you tell industry and support groups they could do better? So, so I, I would say that right now, I think you, you described what I think we realize at the agency is we're, we're here to be essentially, we're here to help enable safe and effective medical products to be available for patients who have medical needs. So that's, that's our mission. Um, and, and to carry out that mission, we want to help companies get products uh, developed efficiently. One of the things that we see that's not uncommon, it's not such a big problem for large companies, but particularly for smaller companies, is having quality manufacturing processes from the start. That's not such an, I know that's not an issue. Patients may not, not, not worry about that so much, but from the perspective of actually the FDA, before we can make, let a product on the market, we have to make sure that someone can make that product reproducibly time and time again. You know, you, 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 you want it when each time you get on an airplane, you want to know that that airplane is going to take off before it reaches the end of the runway. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to take off at exactly the same part of the runway each time, but it still needs to take off. And we need to have the same type of, of, of insurance, it may not have the exact same effect in every patient, but we need to feel like there's at least a reasonable likelihood that that product will be the same as it was uh, the last time. So we need quality manufacturing, um, and we need data that's thoughtfully obtained. And, and so, you know, development plans that are th well thought out, the agency is very willing to collaborate with um, companies on optimal development plans. but. I'd say in our space, particularly complex biologic products, having manufacturing processes that are well thought out and clinical development plans that are well thought out is really important. And we're very open as an agency to having those, those discussions. We have a program which we recently put forth called the Interact Program, which allows um, small pharmaceutical companies, even large ones, or academics to come in and talk with us even before they've gotten really started with their development programs to talk about preclinical data and kind of development strategies to try to, again, we're trying to de-risk some of the problems uh, that people come to when they do a lot of work without consulting us and then find out that yeah. what they've done doesn't really meet the bill. Any responses from Jody? No, I mean, I, oh, Jody, sorry. No, no, Jay, Jay, Jody. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just gonna comment. I mean, it's just listening, Peter, uh, you know, this whole process is complex, right? I mean, and we, we, we want to accelerate it the manufacturing piece that you touched on, you know, I take for granted, to be honest, because I've got all, you know, within the company I have, I've got experts worrying about that. I have got my own worries. Um, but it can be problematic. Yeah. And, you know, the point is, you know, I think about it all the time, right? At the end of the day, and I say this to the folks that I work with, you know, we can't settle for mediocrity at all with what we do. We, we have to strive for excellence. At the end of the day, our work is reflected in a, prescribing information that we work to put in front, everybody agrees is an accurate reflection so that a patient and a physician, you know, my family, others, we can believe that this is the right medicine for us. I mean, that's our work. We have to get that right. And you can't, the quality can't suffer, so we have to do that thoroughly and effectively. I think the engagement with, with the agency, um, I, I would like to do that every day because I always learn something. I find if we engage and listen, we engage and listen, and then we reflect on everything we know, we tend to have the better outcomes. And that, that listening is all across. It's listening from the input we have from FDA, it's listening from the patient voice, listening from the experts around the table, from our own investigators, all of that together, the synthesis of all that insight, if we apply it properly, and hopefully we have the effective therapy, I think we'll do our jobs well. We, we try to do that every day, but it has its challenges, yeah.